welcome. Let's talk about informed consent and really going into the document and also the process. So a lot to go over in a couple hours, but I'm going to focus on key areas. You'll see our objectives today. There's lots because there's so much to talk about for informed consent. We're going to talk about the required content in the informed consent and really is what groups should be looking and are all groups or stakeholders, I call them, looking. So then we're going to look at the regulations and best practices for the the process, the informed consent process, and really how do you prove that you've done this process through essential documentation. And then what does it mean to have an adequate consent? How do we know it's been adequately executed? As well as when there's exceptions to consent, when are we allowed to have exceptions to obtaining consent and what do we need to do in that process and the documentation of it? So documentation, big focus today in this presentation, especially when it comes to the dynamics of consent. It's not just at the moment when the subject signs off on it, but it's throughout their time on study. So it can include also withdrawal of consent, and then we'll go into somewhat of the HIPAA authorization, the re revocation of that. And then the required elements for an authorization form versus consent and why sometimes um, we're, we miss some of the pieces that need to be in, in both and who should be checking, that kind of stuff. And we don't go into great detail in, in this course because we have a separate course for it, but it's very important because it's so associated with consenting.